worms and wood chips and um, some manure and some compost worms uh, already in, in the bottom of this and so that's all um, below ground level so that's going to act as a water sink, uh, absorb nutrients and um, the manure is going to feed the worms and really get that soil getting going. Um, I'm going to be adding a bit more manure uh, and coffee grounds to the top of the soil just to uh, fix the pH a bit and provide a little bit more fertility. I got uh, my soil ready for planting and I've laid out uh, the herbs that I bought and this was just kind of what was uh, available to me over at the local garden shop. I got a few different varieties, um, got some spearmint, some sage, uh, lavender, rosemary, fennel, and uh, in the back is some lemon thyme and I just kind of laid them out according to how they like the sun, uh, spearmint and sage, uh, like a little bit of shade so I'm planting them uh, behind on the north side of the rosemary and the lavender because they'll get quite big. And the other two uh, like a bit mostly sun, so I plant those on the front. And um, here I have this is a little concoction I made of uh, it's a manure tea and a bit of effective microbes. And what I'm going to do with this is to uh, dunk the roots of plants. So this will help um, prevent uh, root shock a bit, and uh, should give the, the roots a little bit of a uh, microbial action to help them grow. So I'll just try to get this guy. So we're just going to take this whole entire root and I'm just going to stick it in here, let it absorb for a bit. That should be good. Now, most of these plants actually prefer um, sandy soils, well-drained soils, so they don't get too waterlogged. Um, I have clay soil here, so I just have to be careful while watering it, and the, you know the clay will will hold the water pretty well. Um, there's a bit of wood chip and mulch mixed in to help the drainage a little bit, but it's not really a sandy soil, so we'll just have to be careful when we water it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this for the rest of the plants, and uh, then I'll show you a bit more how I made this um, uh, root soaking solution. All right, so here I just want to show you um, how I made that solution that I dunked the roots into. And um, what I have going here is I'm making up a batch of manure tea. And manure tea is basically just, uh, it's manure, any kind of manure. You can use cow manure, horse manure. Um, in my case, I'm using rabbit manure because I had some leftover from making the garden beds. And um, I've used an old, uh, this is actually a hot bag that I used to, um, from brewing beer, um, but you can get it at yeah, a brewing shop or you can use um, any tea bags really. And, or any um, cheesecloth, something like this, and or you can even just put the manure straight into the water, and later you can just strain it out. And um, I've set up an aquarium pump um, and a tube here, which had weights on it that just fell off. Um, but uh, this is just to keep it oxygenated and aerated because you don't want anaerobic microbes, um, which can grow in the um, solution. So um, you keep it aerated, and you can also just stir it manually um, a few times a day. But um, I really recommend um, these little aquarium pumps, and they're pretty useful. And they're like fifteen or twenty dollars or something at PetSmart. So um, yeah, so I've had this bubbling away for about four days, and um, this is just going to extract all the nutrients and nitrogen um, from the manure. And uh, you can add um, something like molasses or something to this and let it ferment for longer if you want to um, create like a beneficial microbial solution. Um, in lieu of that, um, I've made this effective microbe culture. And this is um, lactobacillus culture, and I created this using a recipe I found over at the Unconventional Farmer website. Really awesome website, these guys in the Philippines. And um, it's basically created using a rice wash, um, fermented rice wash, and then you put that into a solution of milk, and you let that ferment for uh, about a week. And by putting this into the milk, you're, um, it favors the lactobacillus culture, so you're creating a really strong lactobacillus culture, which uh, uh, eliminates other microbes in the solution. And the lactobacillus is a workhorse of composting and um, fighting off other microbes, so it improves disease resistance, it'll break down organic material in the soil. All around, really, really good um, microbe, and you can even use it in your kitchen um, for deodorization, you can pour it down your drain, so the um, amount of uses are really just endless. And uh, so this solution I have here is actually super concentrated. Um, so this is, it needs to be diluted first uh, about one part to 20 in water, and then that can further be diluted to about three or four tablespoons per liter. So it's around 
I don't know, 1 to 500 or 1 to 1,000 dilution. Um, so it's pretty strong. So I just basically um, mix some of that and in with some of this manure tea, which is also diluted till it's about the color of a normal tea you would make. And um, yeah, that's what I dunk the roots into, so it kind of adds a bit of beneficial microbes and gives them a fertilization. And this is a great liquid fertilizer, cheap liquid fertilizer that you can make super cheap and uh, spray it on your garden, spray it on your leaves, and um, don't have to pay hardly anything for it. So that's it.